Ahora sí, ahora, 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 ahora sí Estamos aquí escuchando el show de Marilyn Ahora sí, ahora, 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 ahora sí Sintonízate, no te muevas We have a voice in the community Let's gather in unity and empower our people with Real life stories y The future is in our youth Let's not forget our roots And pass the knowledge to Pa ti, pa ella, pa el y tú Ahora sí, ahora, 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 ahora sí Color's not a problem, we hermano We hermano Ahora sí, ahora, 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 ahora sí Brother and sister, dame la mano Bienvenidos al show Ahora Sí. <risa> Hola amigos de Ahora Sí. Hi, friends of Ahora Sí. We are here in Philadelphia in our faction segment with Marianne Robinson. She is the founder and creator of this wonderful place. And she's going to show you today some of her creations. And we talk about creations, creations. Good morning. How are you, Good Marianne? Morning. Nice to be, nice to have you here. Thank you. It is my pleasure to be here. And uh, as we were getting ready, I saw some of your wonderful work. As you can see, my friends, I'm wearing one of her beautiful pieces, which is one of a kind. And when I tell you it's one of a kind, it's one of a kind. Now tell me how did everything started with you in this um, business or this uh, creations that you make? Well, it all started, it's really kind of a fun story. I was at a craft show and I saw an amazing, amazing necklace maybe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I tried it on, I loved it. And then I asked how much it was and they said $1,000. That was the end of that. Then months later, I was cleaning out a drawer and in my head, I had a vision of that necklace I had seen and I started playing with leftover wire that was in the drawer and I created a necklace. It's the very first one I ever made, okay. which I put somewhere. I'll find it later if I don't have it right now. Okay. Uh, Is it, it back there? I think you saw me earlier. Oh, this one. This was it. Okay. This is the very, very, very first thing I ever made. Wow. What is it made of? Um, this, I think it's lamp wire that I found in the drawer. And I wore it to a party. Okay. And a woman came up to me and she said, oh my God, I love that necklace. Could you, you know, where did you get it? Uh -huh. And I said, I made it. And she said, could you make me one? And I'm like, huh. I said, yeah, I could. <laughs> it won't be the same because I can't do the same thing twice, but it'll look something like this. Okay. Then she said, how much? And I was really stymied. And I said, $150. And she said, fine, wow. which I tried to control myself. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the beginning of, it wasn't a business then, it was really a hobby. Yes. And it's still a part-time hobby. I just, I think of it like painting. Um, it's creating things that just bring me pleasure to do the same way an artist would paint something. Now, before you started in this, did you ever took any classes as a child? No. Nothing. Always had an interest for art? No, my interest was always actually dancing. Mm -hmm. um, I still love to dance, the salsa. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> we'll see uh, that later. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I also like to write. Mm -hmm. So I did spend some time um, working at Temple University actually yeah. on their writing staff for their alumni magazine and okay. and you know there's a history of a lot of work under the umbrella of communications. So you have you are a Philadelphia native? No I am from a small town in Pennsylvania called Williamsport. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know about it but it is the birthplace of Little League Baseball. Oh, wow. That's what it's known for. Okay. Now, show me uh, what are some of the materials that you use in your creations. You mentioned wire was one of the first uh, well, materials this, that you used. This one, I always ask people when they look at it, uh, do you have any idea what this material is? 
Uh, I cannot guess. <laughs> it's shelving. Oh, wow. <laughs> and what I did is I just cut it, and then I put stones inside. Wow. So I did that. I'll just show you a couple. This is one in white. Beautiful. And there's... There's a bunch of them that I've done that with. Oh, this one. I like this one a lot. The black one. Oh, wow. Nice. With the yes. gold. It's more side. like a shoulder. Yeah. So you yeah. use different, uh, would you say it's more like, I see that one over there, if you, if you could pass it to, oh. to me. Yeah, so this one. Would you say that you recycle a lot of the materials? Yes, I do a lot of recycling and found objects. Mm -hmm. So this one is, it's actually like a breastplate, um, and it's packing peanuts. Wow, and it's actually very light. <laughs> it doesn't... I painted the packing peanuts uh, a silver color, and then I wired it all together. And this was in a juried art show, and it won a prize. Wow. So I was kind of excited about that. Mostly what I do is I show things, thank you, um, at craft shows. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say that, as I mentioned earlier, marketing is not one of my strengths. Which one is one of your favorite ones that you made and you always want to keep it, you know, kind of like not sell it? But ah, there are two. This one, I'm not, this is mine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I saw the, I don't know if you can, I saw the, um, piece, the piece at yeah. an antique show, mm -hmm. and I said I have to come up with something to make it work as a necklace, mm -hmm. so I figured out a way to intersperse it and create something. So that one's a keeper. That's her favorite one. And Not for sale. <laughs> this one. I didn't mention this one. I love this one. This oh, one. This looks like a telephone wire. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> I guess one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's telephone wire. I have so many necklaces wow. on. Yeah, and a friend gave me the telephone wire, and I created this, and I love this. So I wear this all summer. So this one is a keeper. All your pieces are one of a kind. You don't make two of the same. I can't do the same thing twice because I can't remember how I did it. I can come close. Okay. Oh, by the way, this one, which is kind of interesting, mm -hmm. this is a coaster. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I thought it was really neat looking. So, you know, that was that. Miriam, yeah. where can people find your art if they're interested in um, all these different uh, beautiful pieces that you have to wear? Because you could wear it pretty much with everything as I'm wearing this one. Um, oh, I, I love I this. I dressed up my whole <laughs> outfit just wearing this. Um, where, where can they find you? Do you have any social media or any, any way to contact you? Um, the best thing to do would be to send me an email or to call me on the phone. Email is probably the best thing yes. because then I could get back to them. I am in some stores, but I never know from one month to another. Okay. Um, I've been in Joan Shep, um, and but I'm not there right now, okay. but maybe I will be again, but I don't know when. So the best thing is probably to look at my website. Okay. I do have a website. Um, and what is your website? And we'll put it in the... Okay. It's www.wire2, with the number 2, where.net. That makes a lot of sense. Wire yeah. to where. We use yeah. a lot of wire. Yeah. So www.wire2, two, number 2, where.net. Yes. And they could find you there. And we're going to see all her beautiful pieces there. And they get a chance the you know to purchase them if they want to but you also are going to be in the Aura Sigala show yes are you I excited am. to be I there? am because the best thing is I think my pieces really look good when they're worn so Orlando who's putting this show together yes he's going to have his models modeling his clothes wearing my necklaces how awesome is that yeah. and that's going to be June 22nd my people they're watching this show today, June 22nd. You could also go on Eventbrite and look up Aora Sigala's seventh anniversary. And Marian Robinson and her beautiful art and pieces will be there along with the other designers that are showcasing their 
also their fashion. Do you know what these are? Uh, looks like some kind of sport ball. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, wow. They're, Where you get them from? The, the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> They're ping pong balls. Uh -huh. yeah. Or not ping pong, um, practice golf okay. balls. Yeah. So, you know, it isn't the material that matters. What matters, I think, is the fun and creativity. So something like this, which doesn't look, you know, when you look at it, it's like, oh, right. really? But then if you put it together and you wear it with a little summer dress, it's a lot of fun. I totally agree. It's yeah. not about how much you spend on the materials, but it's about your creativity. And you're definitely very creative. Thank you. I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> and um, I'm very excited to have you in the gala this year. So we're really looking forward to see all your creations all your beautiful pieces at this wonderful gala, along with Orlando Caquias, <laughs> one of the designers at the gala. Hi, amigos of Ahora Si, we are here in the Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia, and we are promoting the gala that's coming up this June, June 22nd, so put in your calendars. June 22nd, the tickets are out, and you could buy your tickets through Eventbrite, looking for Ahora Si Gala 7th anniversary. Next to me is Orlando Caquias, one of the designers this year that's presenting his new collection. Orlando, how are you today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing pretty good. Very excited for this gala coming up, and looking forward forward to people to come in. It's going to be very amazing. Very good. As you can see, I'm showcasing one of the pieces there. Marianne Robinson, one of the artists, are showing in this gala. And uh, what are some of the things that you show in this gala? What, what's going to happen this year? Well, what happened this year, I'm creating a whole new collection because we're coming into the summer. And this is my first time, and I don't know when, I'm doing my own show, showing my own collection in a lot of pieces. I'm showing a lot of colors, and it will be incredible because it's a collection nobody's seen before, and I'm looking excited about it. It's going to be now in the industry, um, they're showing a lot of pants, so I'm showing a lot of the collection that I'm showing has a lot of pants, a lot of volume, a lot of hats that is in a lot now too. Is this collection going to be like ready to wear for different events? Yeah, different events for very ready to wear. You can go like for a summer party. You can go for a black tie affair. And for different events because that's the way I design. I design for different occasions because I specialize in gowns. But for this collection, I'm bringing a lot of the palazzo pants, a lot of crop tops, a lot of jackets with hats and gloves because I love hats and gloves. Reminds me of my mother. But it's like basically ready to wear a lot of colors and prints. We are very excited. Don't forget, June 22nd, look for your tickets today through Eventbrite, Ahora Si Gala, 7th anniversary. Thank Until you. the next time. We see you there. See you there. Hola, amigos of Ahora Si. Hi, amigos of Ahora Si. We are here in Bucks County, and we are having a special interview with Dr. Derek Grant. Well, thank you for welcoming me into your studio. You're this, welcome. Uh, this beautiful day. Mm -hmm. it, it is a beautiful day, and we are here in Bucks County. Uh, beautiful area, by the way. Thank you. And, but your paintings and your art is even more beautiful. Oh, thank you. So nice to have you here, and we welcome you and come back anytime, but we, I'm really happy to have you here. Now, as I mentioned, I say Dr. Derek. So you are really a doctor. Yes. Um, <laughs> that was the decision made earlier. When I was younger, my mom encouraged me in, well, more like, you're going to be a doctor, right? Okay. <laughs> and so we have Caribbean uh, parents who uh, insisted that I become something of importance. When I told her I'd rather be an artist, she said, waste of time, you'll starve to death. So, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I went, uh, I did what I needed to do at that time. I did science, a lot of, a lot of scientific work, and I got my um, PhD at the age of, uh, I think, 27. And then I went on to NIH, where I worked in developing anti-drugs that uh, block cancer growth. Wow. And um, later on, we came, I came to Philadelphia. That's how I got back here to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. is that I actually got an opportunity to work at Cardiza uh, Foundation, which is at Thomas Jefferson University in town. Now, you mentioned Caribbean. Where, where are your parents from? Where are you from? Well, I'm originally born in um, Jamaica. Okay. My, uh, but we are mixed heritage, uh, all different... Uh, Groups of people from all over, like uh, we say on the island, out of many, one. 
oh, we're wow. all one, you know, so there are many different cultures. My, actually, my grandfather on my mother's side, he's from Cuba. Oh, okay. And he came from Cuba. He uh, actually eloped with my grandmother, and they went back to Cuba. So Is my, that right? Yes. <laughs> so my first two uncles, my uncles were uh, Cuban, and then my mother was born in Jamaica. And then after being born in Jamaica, I moved to Canada and grew up in Montreal, Canada. So that's where the French comes from. Oh, okay. That's a very interesting story. Yeah. Now, how do you, uh, you went, you love art all your life. Oh, so God, you, yes. So you, so you was born. Yes. And, but you went into medicine and became a doctor. Yeah. How do you make that transition to go to what you really loved all your life? How do you go about that? Well, to be truthful, I never left it. One of the most important things for me to do is to continue artwork. From us five years old, I mean, you, I was intoxicated by the crayons mm -hmm. and coloring and drawing and painting. When I got to university, I just simply took um, other art courses. I took art history, art design, drawing, graphics, uh, filmmaking, anything I could get my hand on as an elective, mm -hmm. I okay. took it. So I kept the um, scientific medical part of it, but at the same time, I make sure I kept my artwork. And I've always been looking at art books. I'd spend my idea of a lovely Saturday or Sunday is sitting by a window going through an art catalog, looking <laughs> you know, at the oh, various wow. pieces. Now, you know. when you look inside a patient's uh, body, you saw art in there. Oh, God. Right? And you see color. And I mm. see a lot of color into your, in, in your paintings. Yes. I don't see a paint that doesn't have color. Mm -hmm. Everything has color, bright colors. Mm. Why are you use a lot of colors in your paintings. I think that being born in the Caribbean, color is it. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 live color. You wake up in the morning. I remember when we lived in the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. for four years, and you wake up and you look down island, and all you could see down island was the different colors of the water, the turquoise, the blues, the the azures. They were just so beautiful how they blend together. So wow. color is a vibrant part of Caribbean living. You know, carnival. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, is yes. bright color and music. And together, it creates a great feeling. And we live in a 3D environment with full of color. So I've always asked myself, why is it that a lot of paintings don't have that? Mm -hmm. And I've included that. I know you mentioned something especially also about the anatomy. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've looked at some of the artwork yes. that we see here. Where, I see um, a lot of it. <laughs> the anatomy is included mm -hmm. in there. For instance, the idea of the network, the blood mm -hmm. vessels. Blood mm -hmm. vessels to me are very important yes. because it means life. It means life. Blood circulating through the body means life. So in a lot of my artwork, you'll see here the formation of, of uh, the, an embryo, a child, mm -hmm. in wow. an egg. And the the, it's being nourished by the blood vessels around it. Now, um, I asked you earlier, which, was, which of your paintings uh, is one of your favorites and why? And oh. you showed me one. I think it's yeah. behind That was you. hard, but uh, <laughs> I did show a couple here. Actually, the one that I showed you, there are two here that actually are okay. my favorite. This is one of the early paintings that I did. Mm -hmm. And this is um, kind of like a... a Remembering the Renaissance, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you know Botticelli's uh, The Primavera. Yes. Okay. The, wow. the three graces that are dancing at springtime, welcoming the spring, wow. I wanted to do it in a different way. And here I did the four elemental graces. In other words, they're not so represented by the female figure, mm -hmm. but by the elements, fire, earth, water, and the fourth element is the wind, which circulates around them as they dance. Amazing. Amazing. So just this was one of the first idea that I came up with that I just loved. I fell in love with it, which is a representation Reminding. of the island. Islands, yeah. The island life. Because island life, for most people who don't realize, it's uh, very crowded. It's very, you're right next to your neighbor. Your neighbor knows everything, gossiping mm -hmm. going on. So I want to represent what it felt like to be on the rock okay. on St. Thomas Virgin Islands <laughs> and the clusteredness, but yet the beauty that's all around it that makes it worth it living on this rock. We can say that you get inspired, but where, where you at at the point of your life? Oh, definitely. Most um, definitely. We, we do see the anatomy, yeah. which is uh, what you've done as a doctor yeah. and uh, the times that you live in the Virgin Islands. And what else inspired you to come out with this amazing <laughs> paintings and, cr you know, creations? To be honest with you, I don't know. It's sometimes I just lay there and I have an image in my head. And the one good thing about the way I do the art, mm -hmm. because a lot of my art is done digitally first and then printed and then painted on. And mm -hmm. so I can create anything. It's limitless what I can create. So it's what I see in my mind. So if a, um, 
a crazy notion comes into my mind, something like, you know, mm -hmm. like that. I sit down and I can create it and create that world. Sometimes I don't even know why I'm creating it. And I'll look back after and go, oh, <laughs> so the art speaks to the artist. Oh, wow. Which is a complete reversal, I find in many cases. And I have a lot of conversations with many of my pieces here. Interesting. Wall. Now, what's interesting is that you're taking your paintings into the fabric and the fashion world. Yeah. Now, it's called Grantique? Is yeah, the... the method actually that I use for um, painting, mm -hmm. I've named it, actually was named in the Virgin Islands by a curator that I was working with at that time. And she named it the Grantique method because it was a method of going from oh. computerized uh, creation using a palette, which I could draw with and paint with, producing the palette and then making it a multimedia piece by using wow. acrylics and oils and anything I could get to uh, adhere to the canvas. And that became the Grand Teak method. Now, we, we took some shoots of, of your creations in the fabric. Mm -hmm. And by the way, one of the pieces that I'm wearing for the gala is created by Derek Grant. Mm -hmm. Not only are we using his art into the fabric, and I'll be... Uh, well, showcasing uh, the magnificent dress that he's making for me. So you definitely have to come out to the gala, which is June 22nd. It's around yes, the corner. So can't wait. Can't we, wait. we're going to take this opportunity to invite everyone to the gala. Uh, the events are already, the uh, tickets are already uh, on Eventbrite. You could look for them of our SC and will be uh, on the screen. So you could look it up and buy your tickets because you can miss this great uh, gala. It's a gala fashion show uh, like we always make, like no other. Mm -hmm. And we definitely um, want to have some uh, music that we're going to be uh, also showcasing that you're using into your. Yes, they're music that your... my sons have created. Yes. And they put together some beautiful music. And I wanted to make it a kind of a mystical mm -hmm. uh, forest creature kind of show, something a little bit different. And with Orlando and his beautiful ideas, yes. he is a great, great, great uh, designer as well, too. And uh, with together, I think we're going to perform a great show, present a great show. Well, I definitely can't wait. I see what's going on mm -hmm. behind the scenes, <laughs> and I'm super excited. I'm super excited about the gala, but most uh, because of the great people that I'm showcasing this year. Oh, you cannot miss it. We cannot, uh, you cannot stay home and miss this gala this year. Uh, we saw a lot of fabric, and, um, and I'm glad you're taking your art into the, fa uh, into the fashion I see that your son is wearing one of your creations today, oh, yes. and we're going to yes. show this, uh, <laughs> exactly. uh, you know, uh, later yeah. in the interview. But yeah. um, so the new generation, the new millennial, right, mm -hmm. are now able to, to wear your art. Exactly. Well, that's the whole idea of um, at one point, uh, uh, my son Julian and I came to the idea of making, putting art on clothing. And I thought, initially I was resistant, but then I thought, that's a great idea because wearable art, art that you can take with you wherever you go, it can come off the walls and go on to you. And then you can express whatever you want to express yes. uh, by using the art to express it. And what so far we created the um, company, Next Level World, and at Next Level World you're able to buy T-shirts, leggings, yes. uh, many things. If you go on online, nextlevelworld.com, you mm -hmm. can see this. And you can just be yourself but yet wear beautiful fabrics and clothing of art pieces that are very limited. Not everybody can come along and buy an art piece that's $1,000 to $5,000. Mm -hmm. So just wearing a shirt or a fabric that has that really brings something special to the whole event. So again, to look for your website and be able to see more of you and your beautiful art and your creations, where can they go? Go to nextlevelworld.com. That's it. And we have all the links there to the various sites. We have the haute couture and we have the rack clothing, as well as the artwork. And now the arts continue in the family. And we are here with Julian. It's such an honor to also meet you, Julian. Awesome. Yeah. Did I say it right this time? Yep, you said it right. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. And you are wearing one of your father's creation. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Can you turn around so we can yeah. see the whole thing? Oh, my God. This is beautiful. We also showcasing this uh, in the gala. We'll have these pieces, and as you can see now, the artist can explain to us what's going on here because I see it in the painting. Yeah. And this is an idea of wearable art. What I what I mentioned previously is that um, this art piece I created about uh, what, six years ago now, and 
I looked at it and thought, this beauty on here, just on the wall, we have to transfer it so he could walk with it. And it's simply a scenery of a lily pond. And on the lily pond, there's a little pearl. Mm -hmm. And I want to accentuate the pearl on here. You can see how it, mm -hmm. it, it uh, reflects very well with the, uh, the camp shirt that Julian is wearing. Now, Julian, how do you feel about your father's creation and wearing it? I mean, this is my homie right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I remember since I was a kid, uh, what, five years old, rolling on this carpet, like, Pops, when are you going to play with me? And he's like, oh, I'm working on my art, working on my art. And then come 16, where I'm trying to kick myself out of the house, we started working on this together, mm -hmm. and wow. it actually brought us together, brought the whole family together, where I'm still living here. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and so, it's gonna be hard to kick you out of that. Yeah, house. <laughs> I'm trying to kick myself out, but things like this happen, and then the next thing you know, you know, we're back working on new projects and stuff like that. And what's interesting is that actually the whole family is involved well, in, in these the projects. Arts. Like for instance, when we go to the uh, the fashion shows, my wife is a stylist and she helps backstage. She be a backstage manager. My That's other amazing. son's a stylist as well too. So mm -hmm. and Julian's there, and Julian's a model as well too. He's a mm -hmm. great model. By the way, yeah. and uh, it's just great. We work together. I think yeah. we work together a lot better this way. Yeah. Now, tell me, you was telling me earlier, and tell the audience about it. I see that you're coming out with a new video. Yep, What's yep. that about? So yeah, I just got back from Miami with Music Week and everything. Um, we shot this video called "Bring the Heat," bringing the heat, <laughs> bringing the light, and stuff like that. Um, been on this new journey with music, where trying to bring love, life, unity. There's so much negativity everywhere you go into music because I, you know, my pops and everything, we're all coming from Jamaica where it's like hip hop started there, but it got really violent when it came to America. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to do a new wave of hip hop, like the origins of hip hop, yes. where it was about love, it was about, you know, values and stuff like that. So I have all these tracks for curating, album, I can't, I can't give you a date when it's coming out, but um, it's just, you know, been a process of learning and growing. Now, that is very interesting because they always talk about the millenniums mm. and, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. how different you are from, yeah. from our, <laughs> our, from our time. Yeah. And um, this is this is very interesting because you talk about positive, positive mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. moving on forward. You know, you are the future. So I'm very proud of what you're doing. And we're going to listen to your music <laughs> at the end of the show. Yes, yep, why yep. not? So we're going to showcase also your music so the friends of our see can watch today mm -hmm. of some of the stuff that you work on and now that genre you do is trap you so, tell me a little bit it's like a mix i've got a very weird style because mm -hmm. um you know um i started producing around 13 mm -hmm. and then i've been singing before that i start rapping around 13 as well so i started with this hip-hop electronic mm -hmm. vibe because like you know i was third like dubstep start coming out around mm -hmm. that time and hearing that was like, wait, what? What did they just do? And so I start getting really nerdy with synthesis mm -hmm. and stuff like that, mixing it together. And then like, you know, towards the end of high school, I start doing more hippie, more, bleh, more hip hop type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then recently uh, I start playing guitar. And so I've kind of added, and what we're talking about is like the whole trap wave, how, you know, everyone's talking about, oh, there's mm -hmm. trap music, like right. it's all hood stuff. And, but if you listen to it, you've got like Lil Peep and everything where it's like alternative. There's mm -hmm. some electronic or like Carnage where he's throwing it at EDM festivals. So like I'm trying to be more diverse with it and more okay. artistic as to more rather than your traditional lane. Now, how would you close this segment right now uh, in your music? Can you? I'm, I'm putting you out there in a bad spot. How oh. will you close it? The name of the show is Saor mm -hmm. Uh How will you close it in music? In music, like, yes. what do you mean, like, like, oh. sing a little bit? Oh, you're trying to, oh, okay, rap. just trying yeah, to get some songs. Right <laughs> all right, how we'll give a little freestyle about the okay, art. All right, okay. you put me on the spot. Uh. <laughs> I'm here with my pops. We talking about art, <laughs> knowing that we bring it together through the parts, get the score, going to the top. That's the vibe, and we'll never stop. <laughs> In the interview, <laughs> what's new? Telling about the new stuff coming through, and this is the truth. <laughs> Giving it for real. You see the clothing with the art on the real. <laughs> we keeping it real. <laughs> My heart is like steel, but it's warm. <laughs> coming through the storm. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I'm oh, what around I, artwork. And we'll <laughs> and we'll say now. Thank you. I see to the next time. Don't forget to tune in to 
Ahora sí, YouTube channel and watch all the shows that are going on. Until the next time.